SpaceX has introduced a new flat, high-performance Starlink system designed for use on vehicles in motion. This means RVs heading down the road can now be connected to Starlink while underway. We've got all the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to share with you some big news from SpaceX about their Starlink system. Now, they long last now officially have a Starlink system that supports in motion usage and permanent installation on vehicles like RVs. So up until now, SpaceX has had the Starlink standard system. This has been the system primarily offered for residential use and they've made it available as Starlink for RVs for a while now. Um, but it is the same Starlink standard system being sold to RVers that is offered residentially that is designed for portability. You can take this and set this up as you travel, but it is not designed for permanent installation on a vehicle. And it is definitely not designed and is actually not certified by the FCC and is technically illegal to use in motion. So this new Starlink flat high performance system is a completely new hardware design that is designed for InMotion. Now we saw this officially announced a month ago as part of the Starlink Maritime Bundle where they were selling two of these Starlink systems, the Starlink flat high performance systems for $10,000 as a bundle for ships and mega yachts. Now they're bringing out a version of this, the same basic hardware, same underlying hardware for RVs and land-based vehicles, but instead of $10,000 for two, it's $2,500 R1. So that is a substantial price increase over the $599 for the Starlink standard system. But well, you're getting more capable hardware. So let's go through what is different about the hardware. Now, first off, the most important we've already talked about is in motion usage. So the new flat high performance Starlink supports in motion usage. You can use it while underway, even at highway speeds. And well, that is a major change from this, which only unofficially and you know, not legally supported in motion usage. The other big difference is the size of the hardware and the shape of the hardware. So the Starlink standard system here is 20 inches by 11 inches on top of a 13 inch tall stock with an aiming motor here. So, you know, when it gets someplace, when you turn it on, it kind of aims and tilts itself towards the north to lock onto a view of where the Starlink satellites are in North America. They tend to be congregated mostly in the northern part of the sky. So it's mechanical, has moving parts, not super rugged. The new flat high performance Starlink, on the other hand, is flat. It's it has no more stock. It's only 1.6 inches high. It can be installed flat on a roof, does not need to be aimed, but it is twice as big. So instead of uh, 11 inches across, the new flat high performance is 20 inches across. So it is a big, big, well, big flat pizza box, I guess you could think about it, that needs to be mounted, but it no longer needs to be aimed. So this means it is better suited for use in motion. You know, it is rated for the standard system can handle winds 50 miles an hour. The new system can handle winds 175 miles an hour. It's ready for a hurricane. And it can handle you know, more temperature extremes. It can me melt more snow off the top of it. Uh, SpaceX says that it can perform better when it gets really, really hot outside and so on. So part of how the new high performance system achieves this is it has a much wider view of the sky. So the Starlink standard system has about a hundred degree view of the sky and the satellites it can track and anything outside of that cone it cannot see. That's partly why it is so prone to obstructions. It is uh, uh, needs to be aimed to the north and all of that. The new flat high performance system has a hundred and forty degree view of the sky. So it can see a lot further down in all directions and can track then therefore more satellites, more different satellites that are overhead that are different locations on the horizon. It can better deal with obstructions because it can see more satellites. It still is not gonna work well when there's lots of trees or certainly if you go under an overpass of any sort, but it's going to be able to deal better with you know, seeing more of the sky. So that is the, the huge hardware improvement there. Um, as far as the, the high performance names, you know, SpaceX says that in hot conditions, it can perform up to 3.7 times faster than the Starlink standard system. But Starlink performance mostly is constrained right now in a lot of places by uh, congestion and the networks being overloaded. So 
Um, we're not really sure if we're actually going to see too, too much uh, performance difference for regular, um, you know, non-prioritized Starlink for RVers users. But, well, the hardware has got more capabilities. But, but Beyond that, the one big, big difference um, between the Starlink standard and the flat high-performance system is power consumption. So Starlink already was a pretty much of a power hog, not something you want to use 24-7 if you are on an off-grid system. The Starlink standard was rated to use 50 to 75 watts of power while in operation. The Starlink flat high performance being twice as big, has twice as much electronics in it, uses twice as much power. So instead of um, 50, 55 to 75 watts, it's used 110 to 150 watts of power. That is a substantial hit if you're doing any sort of you know, off-grid living, boondocking, whatnot. So keep that in mind if you've got the power budget to spare for Starlink. Starlink is definitely uses a whole lot more power than staying connected via cellular. But again, very important to keep in mind, the hardware is a lot more expensive than the Starlink standard system. So you're going to have to decide what kind of trade-offs do you want to make. You know, thinking about it, a lot of, um, of RVers are mostly interested in the portability, and the Starlink standard system will continue to be offered and will work just fine. You just have to set it up when you go to new locations, take the cable out, find a place where I have a good view of the trees, and get connected. The If you want it always on, always installed, always ready to go, and perhaps in use underway, Maybe it makes sense to spend the $2,500, get the high-performance Starlink system, but you're actually then giving up a little bit of that flexibility of being able to easily move that system and maybe park in the shade and have your Starlink still have a good clear view of the sky by setting it up far away. We've been expecting Starlink to bring out a official in-motion usage option for a while now, and it's exciting to see this, and we actually had expected that they would start to charge extra for in-motion capability and mobility, and we were very pleased to see that Starlink is keeping the Starlink for RVs priced the same. So $135 a month for a service that you can you know, pay by the month and turn off on months that you're not using it. So pretty flexible, but the Starlink for RV service, whether you're using the Starlink standard or the new Starlink flat high performance, is deprioritized compared to other Starlink residential service or Starlink business service wherever you go. So in congested areas, even if you have the expensive flat high performance antenna, uh, somebody with a, a residential service will have higher priority in the network. And in some congested areas, Starlink service, for particularly for our viewers, has gotten to be kind of pretty pretty poor as far as you know, overall network speed. So keep in mind, Starlink is, if, if you're in a place with congestion, cellular will often run circles around Starlink. But well, if you're in a place way out in the middle of nowhere, Starlink can be the best thing since sliced bread. Kind of got to think about combining the two of them. But overall, we think it is great that SpaceX has kept the service plan pricing the same. Now, as far as getting this hardware, it is available now on the Starlink.com website with shipping in December, but there is something new. Starlink for the first time actually now has an authorized reseller partner targeting the RV and RV industry and consumers in the form of WineGuard. So WineGuard is a kind of a big name in the RV industry. They uh, sell a lot of gear to RV manufacturers and RV dealers. They've had cellular and Wi-Fi options and TV antennas and many other things. And now by being partnered with SpaceX, they're actually going to be able to offer the Starlink flat high performance system to RV manufacturers to have you know, pre-installed on new RVs perhaps, to RV dealers and installers to offer professional installation, and they're offering it direct to consumers available, you know, basically available starting today to order, shipping just next week. So they're actually getting inventory and availability before ordering directly from SpaceX. The hardware costs are exactly the same, whether you go through WineGuard or go through SpaceX, it's just yeah, and the service plan either way is through SpaceX, but you now actually have options. So this is the first time we've seen SpaceX support and endorse using authorized resellers as a new avenue to buy Starlink equipment. We'll be kind of curious to see how that evolves over time if we start to see more and more uh, uh, Starlink authorized resellers targeting different markets that SpaceX actually officially supports. So that's kind of the update. We've got a new Starlink system officially supports in-motion usage. The um, ter Starlink terms of service have been updated to make it extremely clear that the old system is not authorized for in-motion usage. And even though it technically has sort of worked for the some of the past year, um, it's now 
clearly set that this is grounds for having your service terminated and your warranty voided. So SpaceX will expect we'll be doing more active enforcement of not using the old system in or the standard system um, in motion. But now there's an official way. If you want in motion usage, it is there. Now, the one other question we're going to be getting a lot of is, well, hey, what about using this Starlink system that is designed for vehicles on boats? And, well, you know, SpaceX has their official maritime system, the $10,000 bundle with $5,000 a month service that is designed for boats that will eventually soon offer global coverage using the space lasers and let you cross oceans and cruise anywhere. But... This, this Starlink high, flat high performance system that you can get now that's designed for vehicles will work on boats, but it will only have the Starlink for RVs coverage area. So it'll work on lakes, it'll work on coastal waters, but as you get you know further from shore, we expect SpaceX will be doing more and more geolocking to have you know cells that are not authorized to connect to the, the people who are paying the cheap service plan as opposed to the Starlink maritime service plan. So they'll have a pretty substantial difference between that $135 a month Starlink for RV service plan, well, works for coastal cruising, and the $5,000 a month Starlink maritime plan works for going out into more remote places. We hope over time SpaceX will bring out um, you know, maybe some sort of compromise plan that is still supports the space laser, still supports the global cruising community that is cruising on less than a mega yacht budget. But I think that's not a high priority for them at the moment. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, that is the latest from SpaceX and Starlink. It's exciting to at last have this new generation of flat hardware. We're hoping it'd be a cheaper version for uh, land-based nomads, but at least it is here today. And we'll be getting our hands on one to test and share our results with with our members at the mobile internet aficionados at our uh, the mobile internet resource center soon so we'll be having testing results that we'll be sharing with our members in our forum so stay tuned these videos are brought to you by our premium members our mobile internet aficionados they make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to our channel or better yet consider becoming a member yourself